Hey there, Brickies. Hey there, Brickies. Today we're going to be playing some Golden Tea. So hopefully, hopefully that looks okay. So let me know uh, which golden tea. Let me know which golden tea you want me to try out. We got golden tea classic, golden tea 2K, golden tea 99, and golden tea 98. Uh, which one? Which one is the best on this cabinet? Let me know. I'll probably start off with, uh, I think, Golden Tea Classic, even though that's Golden Tea 2001. So we'll start off here. One player game. We'll go with uh, Mountain, Mountain Springs, I guess. Winnie Gonzalez. So which, which course... Mountain Springs, Anchor Cove, or Scorpion Bend? I guess I'll go with Mountain Springs. I'm not that good at Golden Tea, so we'll see. So the wind's going six miles. Yeah, I'm not the greatest at golden tea, so we'll see how this goes. I'm struggling here, so I apologize. Let me know if you have any suggestions on Golden Tea. Hope everyone's having a great day today.
Hmm. All right. So doing better here. Well, not really, but getting the hang of it. I mean, oh, you happen to own this golden tea cabinet. All right, that was the best hole of the day. We got a par on it. So the last two, the last two holes haven't been too bad. I got a bogey and then a par. So making progress here. Let me know if you have any any uh, tips or if you have any questions. Feel free to leave them in the live chat. Hope everyone's enjoying so far. Can you turn up the sound or will you get, uh, I'm not sure. The cab actually became harder to find now, and I hear people regret not getting it when it the price dropped. 
Great pickup. Yeah, it's a great cabinet. I haven't really uh, played it that much, um, which is why I'm not that good at it. But it's a great game. Just wish I was better at it. I'll probably restart since now I know how to play. Wow, we got a par. So we're in third place right now. We got even, even par right there. So we're plus five right now, not doing the greatest, but that's okay.
I apologize, I'm just not really good at um, golden tea. So I guess we'll move over to Street Fighter here. I apologize.
Let me know what your favorite arcade one up cabinet that you own is, or uh, what arcade one ups you plan on uh, picking up. So we'll move on to Ghosts and Goblins. I'm not doing too great tonight, so I do apologize. Is anybody going to get the new Ghosts and Goblins? Uh, for the Nintendo Switch. I think it comes out on Friday. Unfortunately, it's just uh, digital.
We'll try some Galaga. everyone's enjoying the live stream so far. All right, so we'll switch over to Donkey Kong. I'll be right back. I got to get my laptop charger.
So what is your favorite arcade game? Let me know in the in the comments. Let me know if the if you can see it all right. So we'll try one attempt at Donkey Kong. Hopefully we can get a high score here. The highest score that I've gotten is 305, 305,000. So 305,000, um, which is pretty good. I got to, I think, level 10 or level 11. I don't really uh, point press. I don't really know how to, and I'm not uh, good enough yet to point press. I can... Uh, Point press a little bit, but not that great, if that makes sense. I can't point press on the barrel stages. I'm not good enough yet. Does anybody know if there will be a Kong off this year? The Kong off is, is just uh, in our uh, tournament that's usually three, day, three days. So a three-day tournament, and there's a trophy. It's, it's pretty cool. Usually the best Donkey Kong players attend it. So. Really cool. Sometimes there's even world records. So I hope everyone's enjoying the live stream. Thank you so much for tuning in to the live stream. I apologize. I'm not doing that great. That's okay. Excuse me. Let me know what your highest what your highest score is or high score is on Donkey Kong.
So we're at 21,000. I apologize, I'm not doing that great at uh, tonight. I don't know why that is. Feral Inferno. Hey, hey, Brick Crowd, putting together an X Men versus Street Fighter cabinet right now. Wow, that's awesome. Let me know. Uh, let me know what you think of it. That's a great cabinet. Thank you for watching the live stream, by the way. Really, I appreciate the support. Your average gamer, how are you doing? How are you doing? Thank you for watching. The art looks really clean. It goes good with my Marvel versus Capcom and Marvel Superheroes cabinet. Oh, that's awesome! I, I really wanted to get the the Marvel superheroes the the one with the the one that was on the arcade one ups website. It was the uh, QV, QV, QVC um, cabinet. I think it had the light up buttons on it. Really cool cabinet. I really wanted it for the Punisher game. But it, it sold out really quickly. So hopefully they can get some more. Uh, tomorrow's video, I um, there's a, there was an NBA Jam Sam's Club uh, cabinet. And they had it on clearance for 149 So I, I decided just to uh, get it. I already had a... NBA Jam, but it was a really cool, good deal, and it has the light up, uh, the light up button, so really cool. This isn't the cab that had an issue. Um. Well, my Popeye, um, our, my Popeye, um, is not working. So we'll we'll try one more time on Donkey Kong. I I uh, tried to tried Golden Tea, and I just wasn't really good at it. So I gotta I gotta practice some more. You have the marble stool, right? I got mine, and the Thanos art looks a little pixelated. Is yours like that too? Yeah, it it, it is. It is. I I uh I I think it. I think I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, I had the I had the uh marble. The Marvel stool, but I uh, I uh, sold it on offer up. I also had the. I wanted to keep it. I just didn't have the. I just didn't have the cabinet, and I I ended up just uh, keeping the Street Fighter stool, and the NBA Jam stool because it came with the cabinet. I had the I had a Pac Man stool and a Galaga stool, but I sold the. Uh, as well. I kind of regret it now. Is the marble stool still hard to find? I could I'll take a look at my uh 
I think I still have some pictures and like I know I have the video of it, so I'll take a look. Are you getting of the new cab? I really want I really want the space ace and uh uh killer instinct looks interesting i want i i'm just interested to know what the the intro is i really want them to release the house of the dead arcade one up cabinet that'd be really cool are you picking up any new cabinets? George Washington says, well, George Washington, thank you for watching the live stream. What's up, Rick? Are the Sam's Club QVC Home Shop Beat Network of lesser quality monitors? Um, from what I can tell, no, they're the same, but I haven't, I haven't, um, I haven't plugged in the Sam's Club uh, cabinet yet. I just uh, I just got home right now, and it's still sitting in the garage at the moment. It was the display model, so I hope I just hope everything works. It included everything, um, so I'll probably uh, I'm gonna put the NBA Jam in my work in the workroom at work. So uh, that's why I ended up getting that one. It was a great price, and I just had to get it. So I'll make a I'll make a video on it. I know there's also a, a Costco NBA Jam, and that was the NBA Jam uh, Tournament Edition. It was the same. It had the same. Inferno, the Marvel Soul is $59.99 on Walmart's website. Wow, that's a great price for it. Those, those are usually $80. I remember it being I remember it being an Amazon exclusive. If I if I could remember correctly. But that's awesome that Walmart has it. Is that a sale price or is that um, retail price now? I've seen the Ninja Turtles, and they had the NBA Jam one as well at my local Walmart. Getting Pinball, Marvel, and At Games. Wow. So you're getting the Marvel Pinball? Let me know what you think once you get it. Does anybody know if the Universal Pinball is, is going to get re released? That one seems really interesting as well. All of them are great. I mean, the Marvel, Star Wars, and the uh, Attack from Mars are all great. Costco Super Pac-Man monitor is different than normal Gen 3 monitor. Oh, okay. Thank you, David. I had no idea. Do they still... I, I didn't... Oh, I was at Sam's. Never mind. I was going to say, I, I didn't see the Super Pac-Man there. Costco kick plate install was better. Yeah. Yeah, it looks really cool. The, the riser is pretty cool in the... The stool is really cool. I 
I remember the Super Pac-Man, um, the Galaga. The Galaga had some issues, but um, I think there was an update, if I'm correct, if I can remember correctly, and it, it, um, it fixed the, the game. The Super Pac-Man looked really cool. So was the Super Pac-Man monitor better, or was it? Oh, I oh, or was it a a Gen One monitor? Sorry, I apologize. It, it's uh, I just uh forget. I forget now. Because there's been a lot of arcade one ups. So I forget um, the plot. So thank you um, for all the information. But I, I think now I remember, I think it was a, a generation one monitor. Is anybody I forget I forget the release date, but that new uh Pac-Man the giant uh control stick looks really cool. I think it comes out in a few days or a couple weeks. I know it's going to be sold at Best Buy for sure. Looks really cool. It's under fifty dollars, so I don't know. Let me know your opinions about it. I don't really know too much about it, but it looks pretty cool. I did the same thing with Golden Tea. I bought two, needed a backup, 156 each. The, that's that's a great price. I, I've noticed that the Golden Teas are selling for like 400 to 500 used. So really, quick, really good pickups. I know Golden Tea is really amazing. That's why I'm trying to get into it. Um, and I want to get better at the game. So it's really cool that you got two of them. Especially since you can't get it anymore. I wonder if they will ever um, make more of them, or that that might be it actually, since there's a lot of new arcade one ups. So it's a good cabinet to have two of, to have doubles of. Still waiting on an update on Ms. Pac Man Party Cage from QVC. Yes, I'll let you know if I hear anything. I remember that sold out really quickly. Wait, Miss Pac-Man? Oh. I didn't know there was a Miss Pac-Man party cade. Or... I know the original Pac-Man sold out really quickly, and uh, I think there was an Asteroids one as well. I have Super Pac-Man with the patch applied. Let me know if you have any questions about um, How does it, so it, everything works fine on that cabinet now? That cabinet looks really cool, the Super Pac-Man. Can you still get that at uh, Costco's? I don't have a membership for Costco, but do you, you need it to get in, right? If I'm. And can you still. Because I remember the fire button was on the left, and then they. Um, with the with the patch, can you. Can you use um, both buttons to fire now? Like if, if you. 
If you wanted to use the left button, could you? Favorite golden tea is on the Arcade Legends 3. Which golden tea is that? The patch fixed the Galaga button. Can you use both buttons? Also gives option to turn off the. Oh, wow. That's really awesome. Can you still get the Super Pac Man arcade one up, or is it discontinued now? The Golden T Complete is the best version on there. Oh, okay. I tried to miss Pac-Man patch today. Unfortunately, I downloaded the wrong SKU. It's now 100% broken. There is four to five different Miss Pac-Man updates. Wow, sorry to hear that. I heard about I heard about that. So there's no way to fix it. Could you could you get a, a replacement PCB for it or just in store at Costco? Okay, really cool. And that has Dig Dug on it as well, right? The Super Pac-Man.
I'm going to return it tomorrow at Walmart. Okay. Seven and one. Okay. I have the head to head Miss Pac Man still waiting on the settings update, but really enjoy Mappy while I wait. It's my favorite machine because I love those classic Namco games. Yeah, that's awesome. I, I know it had uh, the two added games, two added games to it, which was really cool. So we got 114,800. Um, not the greatest score. So th that's probably going to do it for this live stream. Or was there anything else? The, um, any other, anything, any other questions or any other, um, games you, any other games you wanted to see? Plus, it now gives me an excuse to get the Star Wars cap. <laughs> Which uh, Star Wars cabinet are you going to get? The sit down, the stand up, or the pinball machine? Play some Mario Bros. Okay. We'll do one round of Mario Bros. Hopefully we get a high score. I think the highest score I've gotten is like 200,000 maybe. Okay, the one I got. Okay. That's a really great cabinet. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me get all of this situated. Can everyone see it all right?
Street Fighter Alpha, a Spider-Man cap, and a Marvel vs. Capcom 2 cabinet, I'm going to be in trouble. I'm going to be in... Yeah, in trouble. Yeah, those will be great cabinets. They would... There's probably a chance... There's probably a good chance that um, Marvel vs. Capcom... Two could get re get released.
Let me know your high score for Mario Bros. If if uh, if you can remember it. I'll So we got 116,000. So an okay game. So let me uh, let me read these. I apologize. Putting the riser together is probably my least favorite part of the assembly on that part now. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Pac-Mania with 3D marquee. I feel that's 100% coming in the fall from Arcade One. Oh, yeah, that, that probably is true. I had no idea about that. Didn't John D say on the last 
one up weekly that they are coming out with a 3D marquee. Didn't know Pac Mania had one of those. Cool. Yeah, I had no idea either. I'll have to I'll have to see some images of the Pac Mania marquee. It's really cool. I always start with the riser first. Haha, <laughs> yeah. I put two and two together. Yeah. The the risers. Yeah. The highest level, it, this is where I start to lose in Mario Bro. Yeah, it's a difficult level. Like, it's difficult once, once that happens. I, I want to get better at Mario Bros. as well. You know how they love Pac- Yeah. Only around 100k on Switch, I think. So I had it practice with- Yeah, this, the Switch. That's really awesome that it has Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., Donkey Kong 3, Mario Bros., um, Skyskipper. It has a lot of great um, arcade. It's just great. And it has Super, Super Mario Bros. Versus on it. I love the Pac-Mans too. I have the Costco yellow, yellow Super Pac-Man and the Cole's Miss Pac-Man. Cole's Miss Pac-Man. Thank you. I got a uh, hundred and sixteen thousand, which is okay. I think. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I really appreciate it. Kohl's was the same as the Best Buy version, but I got Kohl's cash with it and free shipping. I hope Nintendo adds Sheriff Bandit to the Switch Arcade at Art Craves. Yeah, that would be great. I know they've been... I, I know this... Uh, They've been adding a lot of Neo Geo Pocket games on the Nintendo Switch, which is really awesome. I've been collecting a lot for the Neo Geo Pocket. $80, $80 Kohl's cash. That's really awesome. So it was really only... Rick, you down with the cocktails? Arcade went. Um, I think they're great. I think the was the Street Fighter. I like that it has a uh, it has Dark Stalkers, which is really awesome. I, I wish Dark Stalkers, um, you know, was in. I have the Street Fighter Two Champion Edition, the original, the original uh, Wave One cabinet. I wish, I wish I had that on my cabinet. But I think it's going to be in the, is it in the Street Fighter 2 Legacy Edition cabinet? I, I think it's in that cabinet. So that's really cool. The only thing I would change on the cocktails is uh, maybe they can release a, a riser for those. I remember I, uh, well, it might have been the, the location I was at, I was at a store and they had a cocktail, they had the, the cocktail Street Fighter 2 and the Pac-Man cocktail on display. Um, so maybe it was the chairs and I just wished um, they were just a little bit taller or they had a, a riser for the cocktails, but that's that's about it. And also the only thing, the only, the only thing else I would change as well is uh, the Street Fighter, um, when it when you're just playing one player, I wish it took up the full screen. I know it's, uh, I know it's got uh, dual screens on there. So that was that's the only thing. But um, yeah, the cocktails are are great in my opinion. Um, yeah, they're they're pretty cool. Miss Pac-Man cocktail is slightly taller. I think it's more full size than that other one. I had no idea that the Miss Pac-Man was a different height. That's really awesome.
but they're also cool too because if you um need a table in your game room you can have a table and you know possibly 12 arcade games on it so that's really awesome not a fan of the cocktail tables too little the pub tape table line looks cool though yeah the looks really cool the pong the pong table i saw coles had gen 1 pac-man with riser last week they had about eight sold out quickly 360 okay i remember that one i uh I was at Walmart. Well, I was on the Walmart app. The Walmart app said that they had the Pac-Man Gen 1 with the... Uh, I think it has Pac and Pal on it. Is it Pac and... I'm pretty sure it's Pac and Pal and Pac-Man. The original one with just... It's just the cabinet. And uh, it's a store that's like maybe 10, mile, 10 minutes away. A couple miles away. Um, probably like five miles away they said they had um i think they said they had three of them and they, they didn't have them but it still says that on their website and i i checked again and they don't have them so i maybe they will um i think they're just somewhere in the store and they'll probably um put them on the shelf put them on the floor i hope They cost a bit more and take up a bit more space since you need two stools with them. Four player war warlords is rare. Yeah, that the I think it was at Costco or Sam's Club. They had the Pac Man when the cocktails were first getting released, they had the Pac Man with two stools. So that was really cool. But yeah, I agree, they do take up a lot more space. I really want a red tent Nintendo um, cabinet. It's, it's a, basically a cocktail. I wonder if the 3D marquee, marquee on the pack mania will light up. Yeah, I, I wonder, I wonder what, I'm really interested in that now. <laughs> Let me know if you would be picking up the Pac-Mania arcade one up. I want to convert my Space Invaders to cocktail. Pac-Man, oh, okay, Pac-Man Plus. Baby Pac-Man, that would be really awesome. That was Baby Pac-Man had half a pinball. Well, it had a it was a pinball and an arcade machine, if I'm correct. I think I'm correct on that. And I remember uh with digital pinball, yeah, that would be awesome. I remember uh this place near my house called uh, Foster Freeze had the baby Pac-Man, so that was really cool. They don't have it anymore, but um, it, it's a really cool cabinet, and I, I don't think I've ever seen it since that since then. And I was probably only a few years old. So that would be really cool. The artwork's really cool. The game's really cool. Lemon Jello, did you get the pack, pack plus cap? Oh, the Pac-Man plus cabinet. That one was really cool. Yeah, I know it just had the different marquee on it, but that was really cool. Where was was that one sold at? Um, was that a Feral Inferno? Where was the Pack Pack Plus cabinet sold at?
QVC or Home Talk. Yeah, I just can't remember right now either. Well, I I didn't remember it was those. So really, thank you. There's been a lot of Pac-Man arcade one-ups. <laughs> So let me know, Pharaoh Inferno, um, what you think about your uh, Marvel versus Capcom. I mean, your X Men versus Street Fighter cabinet. Jinx, buy me a coat. <laughs> Fair up front, I was just letting Brickrod know that the original Pac-Man cab was with Pac-Man Plus, not pac and Ball. Yeah, I, I messed up. I apologize. It's awesome. The artwork looks so good. All looks so good. Yeah, that, that cabinet's really cool. It has the online capability, so that's really cool. I do have Pac-Man Plus on one of my cabs, though. Are you going to get any of the Marvel caps? I, I want that... Um, Marvel versus Cap, uh, what was it? this? Is the Marvel Superheroes cabinet, but I don't know if they're gonna release the the QVC edition. Hey, you heard it here first. Pac Man, Pac Mania cab in the fall. <laughs> I, I I think that's really gonna happen. I I think Pac Mania is gonna get released. I I agree with you. Any other any other predictions of future arcade one up cabinets? I, I'm predicting right now there's gonna be a house of the dead. And um there there probably is most likely gonna be a Simpsons arcade one up, most likely, which is really good. And I know uh a lot a lot of a lot of us want uh Simpsons and House of the Dead, so that'd be really cool. Think the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 cabinet will have all the Mar all the Capcom Marvel games on it. That would be a really good cabinet, and I know it would do really well. Pac-Man Plus is awesome, but super hard. Yeah, I agree. I still have hopes for a Cubert Cubes cabinet. Yeah, I I uh, I, I think Cubert as well is going to get re released get re released. Whatever happened with that Contra? There was a Contra arcade one up. Well, it was a while ago. It was a prototype. I wonder whatever happened with that. John D says no Simpsons. Oh, okay. Probably because of the licensing, I guess. But I think Fox is now owned by Disney. Or I, I don't know. I don't know. Qbert. I will think of the one dollar bill when this ha when that happens, Mr. Washington. <laughs> I think they can I think they can add knocker to the Qbert like the original since they they did that with their pinballs. Yeah, that would be awesome. I, I think they can too. There was a Contra leak. Yeah, I think I did a video about it like a long time. Like a, I want to say over a year ago now. So I don't know. I don't know if that's going to get <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. I, I'll have to, I'll have to look, um, look into the Contra because I, I don't remember. I just remember I did a video about it. And uh, I think in the image there was this, uh, 
Well, there was the Miss Pac. It was right before Miss Pac-Man got released. It was uh, Contra, Cuber, and uh... so yeah. I'll, I'll let you know about the Contra uh, week. I don't know what you with a, a Contra cabinet would be pretty cool. I think. Uh, let me know. Dollar bill, <laughs> Rick. You gonna pick up any of the legacies? Um, the Tempest looks really cool. And that has, uh, has a lot of great games on it. So I, I really like the look of the Tempest cabinet. I kind of regret selling my, uh, my Tempest. Are you going to get any legacies? How can you play Paperboy on the new Mortal Kombat cabinet? I don't get it. Yeah, because Paperboy had that, it had a yoke controller as well with the, I think it was the handlebars. I remember playing Paperboy a lot on my Game Boy Advance. I think it was Game Boy Advance. I think it had, on the Game Boy Advance, it was uh, Paperboy and... Rampage, I think, on. I was able to get one credit. The arcade Contra is a fun game. You can map Paperboy to joystick controls. Oh, okay, I, I didn't know that. Paperboy is great, so that's going to be awesome. I, I know the Mortal Kombat, um, I know the pre-orders, there was, pre-orders were yesterday, I think, I don't know if they're still available. I know they were on GameStop and Best Buy's website. I think the legacy cabinets are are priced really good at three ninety nine. I think that's a great price point for those, especially since you're getting twelve games on them. Paperboy reminds me of the movie Better Off. Yes, it does. The guy, the I remember he says, "I want my two dollars." So that's really cool. I just saw that movie recently. So they're really cool. I pre-ordered Namco and Atari Legacy. Really cool, really cool. The Namco one's really awesome. Does the Atari uh, Legacies have... I know there was two different variants to the spinner, so I'm, as, I'm assuming it probably has the version 2 spinner. So let me know once you get that, if the spinner... How the spinner is. When I had my uh, asteroids cabinet, I had the. When I had my asteroids cabinet, I had the Glenn's Retro Show spinner, and it was really, it was really great. It's a great spinner. I remember the Asteroids Deluxe cabinet. I, I always wanted that one for some reason. I don't know why. It looked really cool. Rompers looks really fun to play. John D and Cyrus made it sound like a John D and Cyrus made it sound like a version three spinner. Oh, okay.
Did you ever watch John's arcade? Yes, I. <laughs> yeah, that got me. That got me more into the hobby of arcades. Really great channel. Really great guy. Um, just a great channel. I. Uh, yeah, his uh, restoration videos are really cool, and also when he goes uh, and tries to get um, arcade cabinets. When he rebuilds Pac-Man, Cabaret, so cool. Yeah, I remember that. That I, I had uh, I had never seen one of those, so that was really cool. I had heard about them, but never seen them. And it it was just his. It was just really cool. Um, that arcade is really awesome. Oh, it was really cool when he had the row of Nintendo cabinets. He has the red tent. He has all like just so many great cabinets. And that TMNT pinball. Yeah. The art on on the front of the X Men vs. Street Fighter Riser looks really sweet. This was a great good pickup. Yeah, I agree. It, it's a really nice cabinet. Looks great. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, seriously, I really appreciate each and every one of you watching this live stream. I, it really means the world to me, so thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for all the comments, not even just on this live stream, but in all the videos. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Where did you get the X-Men versus Street Fighter cabin? Got it off of Walmart's website for three ninety nine. Yeah, that's a great price on the cabinet. So thank you, Ricky, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Ordered it Saturday night. Nice. Wow, that that's really good. So thank you so much for watching, Brickies. And remember, until next time, see you next time.